Hi, my name is Heather Martinez, and I've been getting a lot of questions lately about how I travel with my Neuland markers. And so I just wanted to do a quick overview of my gear bag and to show you how I store my stuff and uh, what that looks like when I'm traveling. So this is the Neuland backpack. Um, I also have the roller bag, and my very first piece was, um, it was a roll, it was a Neuland bag that was a shoulder bag. And um, I just wanna say that in my very first paying gig, I reserved $500 to pay for that bag. And I think it was the best investment that I've made um, in all of my gear. And I haven't had to think about anything since because Neuland makes it really simple. Um, so this is my bag. What you'll see here are, I definitely use these, um, these Neuland boxes, uh, the Navario boxes and they can store the number ones, uh, both the uh, wedge and the um, art marker. And then this is also another Navario box, and you'll notice that it holds the big ones, and so it's a special one. These other ones will hold it as well, but this one's really made for this, so I love those. And you might be asking, why do you have them wrapped in plastic? Well, I will tell you that I've only had maybe two leaks in the last eight years, um, and one came from me overfilling my marker, not Neuland's fault, and so um, that's not why I put the plastic in here is for leaks, though if you're paranoid about that, you certainly can, but the reason why I have plastic in here is because I live in a very dry place and my markers dry quickly, and when you're traveling on an airplane, they can tend that's a very dry atmosphere. So if I've just juiced up my markers and I'm not taking any ink with me, I will put them in plastic bags. And there's two ways you can do that. If you are using um, just your number ones, you can fit 10 of them in a quart size bag and then put it right into your Neuland Navario box. Um, however, if you are using the big one box, you can just place the whole thing in a gallon size bag, and that works out great. Um, some other things that are in my gear bag, in case you're interested, this is um, another Novario box, which is great for holding the pin it cards or the stick it cards. And then of course, I leave the front open for things like a hacked marker or other long objects. Now, um, I think one of the major questions people have is how do you carry um, ink? And I usually actually check my ink um, in my check bag because it's a larger um, ink bottle and so it's a liquid and I don't wanna have to put that in plastic. But when I do travel with it, I make sure that I carry my ink just the way it came from Neuland, meaning I actually um, put this black cap back on and keep it in the box and then I put the um, injection needle and bulb on top. And the reason being is because um, there's two pieces of plastic here that this can be compromised if for some reason that gets knocked off for some reason. So this just, like if you had it, um, if you were just carrying bottles uh, in a plastic bag, I don't recommend that. I would put it back in the box. This is a, it's how it got shipped to you. It got shipped to you safely. Um, so that's how I would do it, but I would not, I would check that. And for a bag like this, I don't check my backpack and I don't check my roller bag because it's a gorgeous bag and I wouldn't want to ruin it. Um, a couple of things that I have in here too are some more Neuland boxes. Um, and these are what I put my pan pastels in. I honestly don't use my pan pastels very much. Um, but I do carry them with me in case I need them. And then I also use the same kind of box to put all kinds of things. Um, things like promotional items, definitely um, my blade, and this little blade here that you can pick up at art stores, it's got a retractable blade. Um, I've never, no one's ever found this when I've gone through security, so. Um, always a pencil sharpener, for those of you know who that I love pencil sharpeners, and some emergency things like a lint roller or some, actually a fork and a spoon because you never know when you're gonna grab lunch and get somewhere and you're gonna need something. I've got lots of things like lens wipes and sanitary wipes um, and drinks. Um, breath mints are always really great. Then there's a little bit of a medical kit and I actually think I look here, yes, I actually have a first aid kit. And it's important to definitely have Band-Aids, especially the big thick ones. If you're wearing uncomfortable shoes, especially for the ladies, you might want something to put on your heel. Um, but I've also got things in here like um, 
antacids and aspirin, um, things like that are really helpful. And sometimes it's not just for me. I have clients that ask me too if I have an aspirin in my bag. Um, always carry plenty of business cards. I have the extra 20 bucks, the emergency $20, just in case. Again, Band-Aids, cough drops are a big thing. You don't wanna have to leave the room while you're coughing, um, having a coughing fit, so definitely carry cough drops. Um, this is just a little bitty tiny uh, lip balm from my that I actually get from my uh, dentist, so that's a great thing to keep. And an emergency uh, granola bar, clips and rubber bands, and then I have this thing. And this is where I wanna say, be very careful about the miscellaneous things that you carry in your bag. This little gadget uh, was a Kickstarter gadget that helps you do incredible things like MacGyver things. And I have carried this in my bag and almost every single time I have this and I go through security, I get stopped. So this is going out of my bag and just wanna remind you to keep just things that you don't need in your bag out of your bag, especially if it's gonna stop you for security. Another thing that I almost always get stopped for security are my chimes. So if you're a facilitator and you use uh, chimes like this, Tibetan chimes, um, chances are you're gonna get stopped. So if I forget at the last minute, I will put them in the side of my bag. So at least when it comes out of security, sometimes they just open up the side, see it, and let me go on. If they see my markers, I usually have to explain to them what they are. Um, also, a couple of other things I keep just random in my bag for just in case is I keep a lanyard. In case I need a lanyard, they've given me a name tag and I don't wanna pin it to my shirt or something. I've always got the lanyard. I always keep very absorbent towels. These towels are excellent. These are like high grade napkins you can get at restaurants or sometimes you find them in hotel restrooms. They are excellent. Um, always have my facilitation tools with me. And this bag here is excellent for two different, uh, well, all of the Neuland markers fit in here, which are great the big ones, the number ones. Um, but I keep a separate one just for whiteboard markers, and I keep a separate one just for all the different colored uh, fine ones in case I'm doing sketch noting. So this is a great bag for that. Um, when I'm working in places where they have high security and I can't take my phone, I usually have a pocket dictionary because I'm a terrible speller when I'm working at speed. Always keep your refill bag um, for any markers that need refills. And then, of course, all of the different types of power cords, um, plugins, things like that. Yep, and so that's what I have in this part of my bag. And then here, um, this is a piece that I actually created from my very first graphic facilitation, and it explains what it is I do. So if, um, if someone wants, to, it wants me to introduce myself, I simply pull out this card and say, as a visual practitioner, I capture your discussions through large-scale visual note-taking to support the flow of ideas. The resulting charts can then serve as a foundation from which to strategize and grow. And so it gives them kind of an idea of what I do. And if I'm nervous, I just have this card, I can hold it. But you can see it's been through a lot. And then, of course, any paperwork that I need for the client or my travel agendas. And, of course, these guys. They're always fun to have with me. Um, yeah, so that's my bag, that's what's in my gear, and that's how I travel with my Neuland markers and ink. Let me know if you have any questions. You can reach me uh, through my website, letslettertogether.com.